are you singing? Oh, Ndianifuna. 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 But her eyes must talk. Ndianifuna. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the Better Things Studio. Today is a special one. I have Shubi here with me, my confidant, my bestie, my sister, my do you know what he said to me? My who what a nab, my let's go drink, my all these things, and she's here today to do a DIY with us. Um, so the backstory behind this particular DIY is that we went to Victoria Yards. So we do this thing where we go to Victoria Yards every now and again. Um, and it's one of the things that we do to kind of keep keep fresh and keep going out keep and sanity. Like to just, you know? Yeah, yeah. And now that you actually say sanity, it's one of those things for me where when you've been so anxious, we try to really isolate ourselves. I know I really try to yeah. like, I isolate myself. So it's cool. It's a cool way for us to really catch up and be out there and, you know, not let our demons get a hold of us too much. But also not in a... I think we do it more because it's not in a groove, boom, boom way, yeah. music and dancing. Yeah, yeah. It's more we can still talk, but we're still having fun. Mm you know mm. and it's needed to do such things once in a while because it's your rough. demons can keep you in the it house forever man rough, actually. and i also feel like um in light of like now that it's mental health awareness month it's very important to like talk about these things with your people yeah like you the way you feel and you know when you're feeling like you can't handle things i know a lot of times we don't say anything because we feel like people really don't get where we'd be coming from so i think it's very important to be able to have these conversations especially with the people closest to you yeah. and just be open about how you're feeling and yeah it's not know. easy it really it really isn't easy but i feel like if you say it for long enough it kind of i know with my situation my mom like i said it long enough yeah and after i said it for the hundred times she clicked that like, yeah. oh, okay you're not okay and it's like yes i'm not okay and then we you know we work through it so i think don't give up on yourself yeah and, and talk even if you're talking to a friend, a cousin, someone you trust, just talk. Because don't die alone. Don't die in the mm -hmm. fire. Don't mm -hmm. burn yourself, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what we... That is us. And I'm getting a semicolon tattoo tomorrow. Yeah, oh, She's joining the I'm gang. I'm joining the gang gang. <laughs> yeah, so those basically, for those that don't know, mm -hmm. it's just um, silent awareness. Basically that um, I'm with you, I hear you, I understand you, I don't judge you. So basically, the semicolon is just let the journey continue. Don't end it. Don't give up. Yes. Yeah, so now that we have all of that to the side, you know, we're not trying to dampen the mood. But uh, yeah, so we went to Victoria Yards this one time and Shubi was like frantic with her top that wouldn't stay in place. And yeah. it was just one of those things where we had to stop everywhere. I was trying to have a crop top mm. with a long t-shirt yes so i had high waist pants so i can't like i done a diy thing yeah but it kept on popping out mm -hmm. so that maybe took literally if we counted every moment maybe took 45 minutes of, our time. of us stopping mm -hmm. and fixing it mm -hmm. and then when i took pictures of her she was like uh <laughs> I need to fix it. <laughs> so it's like, okay, girl, we're going to help you. We're going to fix this top. And that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to talk Shubi through how to fix her top. And yes. she's going to do a good job at it, hopefully. Yes, guys. And I'm extra. So I had <sighs> two outfits. I had changes. Oh, yes, okay? yes. Because I am extra like that. You need to recognize the princess of DIY. Exactly. <laughs> we have a princess of DIY here. But let us not keep you. Let us not keep you. Let us go straight into it. I'm going to leave my details at the end of this video. And I'll leave Shubis as well because she will pay us another visit. Hopefully very soon. And just like that, let's get to the video. Yeah. And guys, do not forget. Be well and do not fret and speak about the problems that you're going through speak about how you're feeling yeah. it will help you in the long run subscribe 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 yes, subscribe, please subscribe subscribe, subscribe. Please. <laughs> okay so what you're going to need is something to do your markings yes and then okay show it here <laughs> here 
yes your markings and then you need a pair of scissors because you're going to do some cutting there you go and then obviously you're going to also need a measuring tape this is so you can measure how short your crop top needs to be and um yeah so you're going to use this to measure or you can actually use a crop top that you already have to kind of make a marking of um where you're going to uh, cut okay. okay so you can actually speak to me while you're doing this because alrighty yes. so I'm gonna use the measuring tape yes just show the people on the camera so like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use the measuring tape yes so because I don't want it too short mm -hmm. and also I don't want my boobs to be too pointy mm -hmm. and to look awkward because I don't I hardly wear a bra yes I'm just gonna be on the safe side mm -hmm. and she measured it and it was 13 so she's going to do from her collarbone all the way to 13 yes and then she's going to just mark there by 13. there we go okay and then what she's going to do you're going to remove that you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to go on the bottom of your top and you're going to mark the middle so what's the middle of the top middle the yeah top. yeah it's from it's, there so yeah. you're going to cut yeah. you're going to cut basically from there to there Okay, and now we've turned the top to the back and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to measure from the collarbone mm -hmm. yeah, to the bottom, 13 again. Um, okay, so now what you're going to do is you're not going to do what you did to the front. You're going to do something different. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to cut... I'll show you. Okay, you're going to cut a line along like that. Okay. Yeah, but you're not cutting the front. You're only cutting the back. So cut like this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so cut. Okay, cut again like this. Okay. This is the only tricky thing to make sure that your back and front aren't mixed when you start cutting or else you're going to cut both of them. And then it's Does just, it have to be straight? No, it doesn't. Because well, it doesn't have to be straight. I'm becoming a DIY princess. Just do it as <laughs> from a, a queen, princess. From a queen to a whole princess to a whole princess. There we go. And then what you're going to do now? Now that it's straight, you're only going to cut the back part. Okay. In a straight line like that. Don't cut the front. Don't cut to the front. No matter what. No matter what. Don't, don't cut the touch front. The front. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is exactly the same thing from the other side. Yeah. You see? Nah. Now you know. Ah. Now you know, girl. <laughs> From a DIY queen to a princess. You know, okay, no. But a princess is still cute. <laughs> it's still cute, you know. Try to be as neat as you can. basically this is a small t-shirt which was a bad idea get it large guys mm -hmm. so we cut it into so we marked it here mm -hmm. we tried to measure it in a way that my boobs won't show because mm -hmm. this girl has big boobs mm -hmm. then after that we just made two separate parts to just tie them to the back to make it a perfect crop top yes because i've always had a problem of tying long t-shirt and they mm. always popped out mm. so this was necessary to people that like doing creating outfits from this from scratch do this and then Chubi and i got really distracted and didn't finish our diy but just to give you an idea of how it works all you do is take your two ties and you tie them towards the back of your top and voila i hope you guys enjoyed this diy and we'll see you guys next time